John report. I'm John, here's my report. Well, a University of Washington doctoral student is almost finished with a year-long project compiling an oral history of Kirkland. <laughs> the oral history focuses mainly on Corona, chips, and salsa. <laughs> McDonald's has banned smoking in all of their company-owned U.S. restaurants. This way, said a McDonald's spokesperson, customers can enjoy their Big Mac, large fries, and a chocolate shake without having to worry about their health. <laughs> As the Seattle Mariners opened spring training this week, manager Lou Pinella told his team, this is our time. He told the team to enjoy it because once the regular season begins, that will pretty much be the other team's time. <laughs> a, rash, a rash of arson fires has hit the Ballard area in the last week, and firefighters have been hampered in getting to the fires by old guys in hats slowing down even more than usual to see what's happening. <laughs> Embattled State Senator Ray Moore announced this week that he'll seek re-election despite objections from other Democrats. Moore also said that he will run for his fifth term, term under the name Haleaki Kukulani. <laughs> A Microsoft vice president predicted that in the future, telephone calls will be free and movies will only cost one dollar an hour. Unfortunately, he went on to say, a small popcorn is going to set you back about three grand. <laughs> University of Washington regents have, have rejected all three planned sites for a Bothell campus. One region said that the sites were unacceptable because, quote, they were all in Bothell. <laughs> Finally... Finally, a Seattle artist whose works were featured on a Cairo news report has been accused of copying his paintings from famous artists. Cairo apologized for the mistake and admitted that they were a little suspicious of the painting titled Woman Smiling While Watching Harry Wappler. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you, and welcome to Right Back.